Hey guys, I had a lady message me the other day and she said that a heating and air guy had told her that the SEER number, so SEER, Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio, is a number that's just made up, that companies just pull that out of the thin air and, uh, and attach that to heating and air systems saying how efficient they are. And she was asking me, is that true? Do they just pull them out of thin air? And uh, so I want to do a video on that. But before we dive into this, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you. So let's dive into this, guys. Uh, I think it's kind of comical that this guy actually told this customer this because I, sometimes I don't understand when I hear heating and air guys say certain things to their customers. I really don't understand his motivation for saying, well, that's just a made up number. The only thing I can come up with in my head is possibly he was trying to sell her a lower end system and pretend that it's as good as maybe someone else's quote for a better system. Uh, I'm not really sure, but here's the deal. Uh, there's actually a long, I could do probably a, a two or three hour video on this one subject and how they come up with SEER and all that stuff, but SEER is not a made up number. Uh, now, I will say that it's not always an accurate number uh, for a number of reasons, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but it's not a made up number. So SEER is a number that normally to attach that number to a heating and air system, the government's involved, the AHRI is involved, and companies have to jump through some hoops, do certain tests, and figure out what number is going to be attached to that system. And it's really all about, uh, you know, for you, the consumer, so you can understand if you are comparing two systems, apples to apples, which one is more efficient for your home. And I know there's way more than just SEER ratings that play a role with that, but SEER is for the consumer. There, it's a way for them to know, hey, you know, is this car, does it get better gas mileage than that car? So it's just, a, again, it's a number that they'll attach to it telling you, that it's this efficient. And they come up with SEER by running the system and they do some tests and they check different things. But ultimately, again, the higher that number, the more efficient it is, the more friendly it should be to your electric bills. And if you are comparing SEER, if you've got a company that said, hey, a system is this SEER, it's this efficient, you can ask as a customer, you can ask that company, hey, can I get the AHRI certificate to show that, and they should have no problems with that. In their defense, there are times when, you know, some of the manufacturers will advertise a system at a certain SEER, but it may be one or half lower than what they've advertised it, and in some cases, depending on the matchup and the furnace or air handler and all that good stuff, the system can actually be higher than the actual advertised uh, SEER. You can request that. Can I get the HRI certificate and they should be able to provide that. If they can't provide it or won't, that might be a red flag. Now, a moment ago, I did allude to, it may not be the most accurate number in the world. Let me just say that just because a system is a certain seer versus another system that's a, a different seer, the reason I say it's not always the most accurate is a couple things. The first thing is, there's no way for us, there's no way a pro can tell you okay, well, this system is 18 SEER and your existing system is 13 SEER, so you're going to save this much money every month. There's no way for us to actually be able to attach an exact dollar amount, unlike, say, gas mileage on a car. So with a gas mileage on a car, if they said, hey, this car is 40 miles to the gallon and this one's only 20 miles to the gallon, you're going to save this many gallons hypothetically in a perfect situation. SEER, unfortunately, there's too many variables. It's your electric bill. How much do they charge you per kilowatt? There's other variables like your home. How efficient is your home? How well insulated is it? Is your ductwork insulated properly? Is it sized properly? There's just too many variables to be able to tell you if that SEER is 100% accurate and you're going to be able to definitely get this much efficiency out of the system. So again, it's not a made up number. Uh, you can actually dive into it even further. Uh, you can go so far as to just go to Wikipedia and look up seasonal energy efficiency ratio, and there's a whole big page on the how it all works and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna do all that because that will bore you. But if you are wanting more information, 
you know, you can get it. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you got a guy telling you it's a made up number, it's not. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.